right, Marie, what do you do for a living? I'm actually a safety coordinator for a heavy industrial construction company. All right, and so you're driving, uh, where are you going at this, what time was it about? It was around 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I was actually getting off work, heading home to go pick up my oldest son from mm -hmm. his childcare. All right. Um, I was driving down the interstate. Uh-huh. And um, while I was driving, I had noticed that there were some vehicles in front of me slamming on the brakes and weaving over, and you know, I just figured, didn't know exactly what was going on until I was able to get closer to what. So what do you see? Well, when I approach closer to the other vehicles, out of the corner of my eye, I see a gray van actually grinding in the HOV lane against the concrete barrier that divides the north and south bound. Just riding along that Just thing. Just riding along. So what are, what are you thinking is happening? Um, at first, I didn't know exactly what was going on. So, so I, you pulled alongside? I pulled alongside his van. What do you um, see? Well, I see a gentleman slumped over at the wheel. Slumped over the wheel. Mm -hmm. So, and he's the only person in the car? He is the only person in the vehicle. So what do you do? Um, at that time, I actually, I knew that something was wrong because I figured he wasn't asleep because his vehicle was waking, making too much noise, right. grinding, and it was actually smoking and starting to spark at that time. Right. So I actually began to pull in front of him while his van is going down. So I pull up ahead of him in the HOV lane, and I actually position my car kind of at an angle, because I knew that at that time his vehicle had to be stopped. Um, once I positioned my vehicle, since I was up far enough, I figured maybe I would have enough time to get out of my vehicle and run back to his van. What do you wear? You wearing running, like running? I'm in my high heels. High I heels. just got off work. Right. <laughs> just right. got off work. So you position your car to stop this car that's coming straight mm -hmm. at you like this, and then run back in high heels to that car. To his car. And then hoping. you're running along the side, doing what? Um, Running back to his van, hoping that maybe the doors were unlocked. I thought maybe I could get into the vehicle, right. push the brakes, get the ignition turned off. Um, at that time, you know, I knew, you know, I noticed that the doors were locked. wasn't going to be able to get locked. open. So I actually start hauling back to my back vehicle, to your car, back to my car, because um, I forgot I actually left my emergency brake off. So I was actually at the time trying to get in. Oh, you're a fast runner, back and forth <laughs> to your car. Surprisingly. <laughs> All right. But, well, once I got closer to the vehicle, I noticed I wasn't going to get in to pull the emergency right. brake. So then you go back and you, you pull out your son's skate, yes. thinking you can break the window. Yes, and this is actually after his van hit the back hit, of my car. Hit your car, so it's now stopped. It is now stopped. So you get this, and you're trying to break a window. I'm trying to break open the window. And, and it, it, it breaks just, the, your son's it skate. It didn't work. No. <laughs> no. He's didn't probably mad at, at you right now, your son. <laughs> well, he yeah. doesn't quite know yeah, that his yeah. skate right, is so. broken. So. She broke your skate. Yeah, he's uh, going he's gonna to be mad all now. Right. <laughs> so, all right, so then, uh, then some, by then, some other guys had yes. stopped and, and helped and got a crowbar or something, right? Actually, um, once the, the skate didn't work, there was a female who did stop. Um, the standard tire jacks that come with your vehicle, she was actually able to get that from her vehicle Great. and break open the window. And so what had happened to this man? Um, actually, later on, I found out he did have a heart attack while he was driving home. Had a heart attack, and he's 60-something years old. He's 65, And yes. you've taught, he's okay, he's in, in critical condition, but he's, he's, he's alive. He's, he's alive, he's starting that recovery. And, his, and they have no children, so he and his wife are everything to each other. Yes, yes. And she must be so grateful to you to, yeah, to get to him in time to do that. So we want to thank you. And uh, uh, TravelWizard.com wants to thank you. Uh, they are your number one source for luxury travel, by the way. Um, <laughs> they're sending you and a guest on a five-night vacation to Breeze's Runway Bay, uh, Runaway Bay Resort in Jamaica's, uh, and it's worth $5,000. So you'll have fun in Jamaica, yeah. and thank you for doing that.